It's Ketchup Packets. Hi, everybody. I'm Sean. I'm Nate. And this is Ketchup Packets. And today, we are watching Season 2, Episode 5 of The Expanse, entitled Home. We're coming home, Nate. Oh boy, super excited for that. Yeah. Uh, uh, we, we, so, yeah, we just finished watching the last episode mm -hmm. of The Expanse. Miller's got his finger on the bomb button over and over again. Eros is zip zapping <laughs> about all willy nilly yep, all by itself. Willy -nilly. Um, the Naboo and... missed its target, so I have a theory okay. for upcoming uh, plot points. The Naboo is the one that hits Earth. And then that starts a war between the UN and the Mormons. The Mormons live on Earth. Yeah, that's true. I think that's part of the reason that they want to leave the solar system is because their situation on Earth is getting so bad. Yeah, that makes sense. Well, maybe just, you know, a final screw you to the Earth population. I guess. That's you a know, very interesting prediction. Yeah. Is this a serious prediction no, or an ingest prediction? not necessarily. Well, I mean, I'm throwing it out there. I said it first. If yeah. that's what happens, That'll I said wild. it first. You know, they've been working with Fred Johnson and stuff like that, you know. No one he'll get blamed for it, mm -hmm. he'll- oh, mm hmm Interesting. But then the Mormons are like, I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. We had nothing to do with this, they stole it! And it's like, sure they did. <laughs> we you knew you evil guys, Mormons! Yeah. <laughs> we yeah. knew you guys seemed too nice to be true. So, what happens in this episode? Do you think our friend, the spy with the camera in his head, is gonna come back? As like, the voice of the proto-molecule? That would be interesting if he's of like, all the bodies. And that guy's a voice actor, you know? Oh, he's really? He's yeah. like the Deus Ex Human Revolution oh, yeah, main okay. character. Yeah, yeah. Well, the commenters were mentioning that, like, there was something specific about the the proto molecule having sucked up him because he had, like, you know, body modification and stuff. Exactly. You know? so yeah. Like, maybe he's, like, becomes, like, the. whatever. The. The body that it inhabits, or whatever. Yeah, the voice of the proto-molecule. Mm -hmm. We'll have to find out, but yeah, we just watched the last one, so I'm excited to see this one. I don't yeah, want to yeah. talk about it anymore. No, let's, let's get going. Let's jump in. Alright. Did you fall asleep, Miller? What the hell was that? It's sucking the power. The proto-molecule is sucking the power out of stuff. Eros is moving. Fast. It is zip zopping about. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. Do they know about any of this? Moving to where? Unknown, but it's deorbiting sunward. Do we know why? We do not. It's coming at the Earth. Yep. Woohoo! Madam, the Mormon leadership in Salt Lake is claiming Johnson stole the Naboo after forcibly removing all their people from the ship. They are going to get blamed for this, and it is going to yep. hit Earth somehow. Oh shit. Oh shit. Dresden said the proto molecule would break all the rules. Yeah, he also said that stuff, it's not from around here, so who the heck are we to say what it's capable of? It's a good point. It's the same universe, though, right? Yeah. Oh, shit. Alex? So how can we really test if the laws of physics are only yeah. in our region or not, you know? Yeah. I mean, some things you can see at great distance, but some things yeah. are But if something enters our region, is it then bound by our physical laws? I don't know. Oh yes, a weapon. A hammer thinks everything is in AI. I assume built by Mars? Who else? They provoke a conventional war as a smokescreen, then hurl this thing at us. <laughs> this dude. Yeah. It's nothing but denials and confusion. Yeah. What's happening? Eros has changed trajectory again. And it's accelerating. It's now on a direct collision course. With Earth. Oh there you no! Go. We worry about people who throw mm -hmm. rocks. Dun 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 dun. Uh, rocks who throw proto molecules. Yeah. You see Aaron Wright's face for a second there. It's like this is what you did, man. Yeah. This is the. Did, did you Idiot. ever consider you could not control what you were unleashing? He doesn't seem like he considers much. No, he doesn't. He's a jackass. I still can't place what I recognize him from. Somebody in the comments tell me where I recognize Aaron Wright. Jupiter, the great red spot. Now I thought I remembered hearing a little while ago that the great red spot is actually ending relatively yeah, it's soon. Yeah. Yep. Like it's a storm, the storm right? Is ending, yeah. yeah. And it's ending. It's been there for like as long as we've been looking at Jupiter, but it will end eventually. So would yep. it still be here at this time? Looks like your attempts to keep arrows 
under the radar. Shed a few snags. Your attempts has. Nice subject <laughs> verb agreement, idiot. <laughs> Man of the system. I'd really appreciate it if you'd make a fucking appearance and rein in your goddamn science experiment! I'd really appreciate it. What a baby. Well, I hate him so much. <laughs> he's realizing that things have gotten out of control. Yep. Oh man. Looks like the kind of guy who likes to have control. I don't have a lot of confidence they're gonna be able to prevent this. This? No. Miller's death? Maybe. What if that's the sea crystal that creepy guy was talking about? That's the engine that's moving arrows. He said there's like a thing in the middle. Mm -hmm, that's right. What do you think, Miller? Crawl in there and blow up the thing that ate Julie. I think it's the best bad idea I've heard all day. It's gonna be a bunch of little pieces of arrows going towards her. And then it'll be, in, instead of a giant squid, it'll be a bunch of tiny yep. frozen squids. <laughs> a rock three times the size of the one that wiped out the dinosaurs. But given it was his erratic speed and acceleration, we really don't know where it's gonna hit. That's an everybody is dead Seven rock. Seven to ten yep. billion dead. Another ten in the aftermath of environmental disaster. So that's like, what, everybody? We have to begin evacuation. The Dark Ages are starting. That's fun. Whatever biotoxin is inside Eros, can it survive in a vacuum, or do we risk scattering it all over the system? Sadly, there's no time to conduct a study to satisfy your curiosity. He's trying to blow it up yeah. so that nobody can find out what's going Sterilize on. Sterilize the detonation zone with a second wave of missiles. He has a jacket. Missiles, and then more missiles! Yep. That's my plan. Shoot missiles at it. Missiles solve every problem. So we spend most of our money on. It's got to be the solution to most of our mm -hmm. problems. No, it's the solution to my problems. Alien life in the universe. And I'm riding it. Like a tick on a dog. Hey, <laughs> don't get all holding on me. It must be real tough going up under a blue sky. Eight parents slobbering all over you. Hey now. <laughs> Eight parents sounds like a nightmare. Yeah. <laughs> As a kid, you got to navigate the social dynamics between mm -hmm. them. Yep. That station so much as twitches while we're swooping in, they're gonna be sending what's left of us home in a doggy bag. He's risking his ass down there. How about we do the same up here? What? He's he's close to death. What if we just are all close to death? Exactly. Instead? Yeah. That, what kind of logic is that? If he's unsafe. We should yeah. all be unsafe. Yeah. Yeah, I, mean, I, get, I understand that she wants yeah. to save him, but it's like that's not the logic for it, though. Why doesn't he push off of arrows? What makes you think it's not going to do the same thing to you the second you walk in there? That's impossible. He's way too tiny. His space is they, huge. They can't pick him up. They can't pick up his transponder, his radio signal, and figure out where he is. I don't know. <laughs> Worked for the kid. For Diogo? It's true. Yeah. He was like, somebody will find you out here. Then they did. You're right, you're right. He's gotta climb the ladder. That's... Carrying a nuclear warhead. Yeah. This is like the season 5 finale of Lost. Remember when they had to carry the nuke around? <laughs> oh god. <laughs> now I do. Russian Prime Minister confirmed. I won't consider our launch a preemptive strike. Or did they offer assistance? Maybe they want to see how well their weapon performs. Of course. That guy is so dumb. Is that guy like the number one guy? Like the leader? Yeah, he looks like the <laughs> Yeah, he's got a don't drop it though. Slinging it over your other shoulder. This is not a, you should have figured out, had this rigged up so that you could reach it. Yeah. Come on, dude. Uh, oh, the beeping got faster. This is how Miller dies. He's gonna blow up in the ladder. <laughs> like this? Other shoulder, Miller. Giant man-sized ducts. Oh, a dead guy. Nice. 
tools. That's what makes humans humans. Yep. Man use tools. This oh. must be going the right way. Steady on Miller. So now his it. entire suit's gonna be. T left. I think. You hanging in there? Oh yeah. Good I'm feeling like a 30 to 40 percent chance that Miller is done. That he's gonna I die. Mean, yeah, this situation is really not voting well for him so far. Voices are. They're not alive, Miller. They're just echoes of who we those have no people idea were. what they are. We have like, what is yeah. even happening in here? Don't even tell them they're it's not the alive. It's the arcade again. You don't even know that. Remember the arcade? Yeah. Where they killed that guy who didn't know what was happening. Mm-hmm. There, there he is. is. It's pretty intense. Yeah. Very high stakes going on right now. Is that all missile launches from like all over the United States? Isn't that more or less real? Aren't there missile silos all over the oh, United States the that could yeah, fire yeah, yeah. all at once if you put hit the right buttons? There's one thing the U.S. has a lot of its missile silos. We're ready. Right. Oh, it just reacted to the missiles. Yeah. Earth just launched half her nuclear arsenal, and I'm guessing they just target locked Arrow Station. The uh, <laughs> nuke in here, proto molecule in here, nukes out there. Hold it. We just lost radar lock on arrows. The whole damn station just vanished. Acknowledge, Tycho. It's off our radar, too, but it's still right there. We have visual. It's just... It's just not reflecting radar anymore. What? It can cloak? So first missiles yeah, can't it's a see arrows, then. then they can't blow it up. What is happening? Math? Yeah, there's a bunch of math on the walls. Oh, it's that guy's diagrams. Oh. Yeah, it's Weird Beard. It's <laughs> a good name for him. His beard is normal, but he's weird. Yeah, he's a weird he has guy. a beard. Eris vanished off radar. It's gone stealth. Who's going to explain that to me? Our missiles, sir. They're flying blind, which makes them essentially useless. Incoming strong message from Fred Johnson on the emergency channel. Fred Johnson. Just a bunch of nukes flying around. Given the signal delay to Earth, my technicians would need to steer the missiles in. I understand the gravity of the request, but need a response before the window of opportunity closes. This is exactly the kind of opportunity he's been waiting for. He can redirect our missiles at Mars or Earth. It's just a guy. The, there's already. Why would he need to do that? This is a we all die if we don't yeah. stop this kind of moment. Or you know, just they die on Earth if he does if they don't let him try. Yeah. We'll have to take Fred Johnson's word for it. Or I could talk to the captain of this ship directly. Any message would have to be relayed through Tycho Station. Open a channel. Yeah, and I, all these transmissions are taking minutes to get around, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think light speed is the upper limit of how fast any of it can go. Yeah, I think one AU takes like eight or nine minutes for yeah. them to travel, and that's distance from Earth to the sun. So. Yeah, Earth to Mars is between six and twelve minutes, depending on where it is. Oh, yeah. Yep. Miller, your feet's crapping out again. It's one of the big problems with uh, sending anything to Mars. Six minutes, everyone's dead if there's a problem. Can't take the razor back. Not alive. Not alive. There's no one here. Just voices. Talking to myself. So we can just create the sounds of whatever it absorbs. Yep. Madam Avasarala, or something. I'm James Holden, captain of the Rossinon. Time delay 15 minutes. I've seen so. firsthand the hell that's going on inside Eros, and it mustn't be allowed to reach Earth. We can't trust this man. Sir James Holden is neck deep in everything that's happened. Shut up. Give them the guidance control of the missiles, Mr. Secretary. I vouch for James Holden. We can trust him. This is a hell of a decision. Mm -hmm. The caterpillar calls the end of the world. The master calls the butterfly. Well, I mean, it's either nukes or, you know, arrows, so it's not that hard of a decision. Exactly, yeah, arrows like, is still coming at you, gonna, yeah. Yeah. 
What's the choice? Might not hit you, or something's gonna hit you for sure. Miller! Hey, Why are we worried about Miller? You need to move your ass in there. I'm, I'm sorry, but at this stage, yeah. <laughs> don't put us in the really awkward position of having to blow you up. You know, there was a time not too long ago. I would have been voting for euros over those missiles. I know what you mean, Beltalota. Now move. Yes, sir. She called him Beltalota instead yeah. of Wellwalla. Yeah. That's, that means he's a real Belter, right? Yep, yeah, we're learning to speak no. Belter Creole. <laughs> I think I'm getting close to the hot zone in my homies. Excuse me? See, Crystal. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Holden thought he was saying that he's. Yeah. And Naomi's cheating on him. Yep. You gotta call even exclusive who knows. Chase cut bait. Seems like it, but. It seemed like Naomi was kinda into drummer last episode, though. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, who knows? Captain? Space relationships. Holden's got eight parents. Yeah. <laughs> you got it. All clear! Clear! Here we go. All right, job, boys. Final yeah, showdown, yeah, girl. Here comes the juice. Not quite final, but like last yeah. episode of the book. <clears throat> Middle of season two showdown. Survivability of the crew is questionable beyond this point. They're going to stay with Eros, even if it kills them. Mm-hmm. It was nice I heard They're you explain that pretty audience. The shuttle is ready. There's nothing left to do here. She's doing great at having the, yeah. the gravity on her face mm -hmm. this being such a horrible situation. One more minute. Your government tried to assassinate them. Now they're about to I save see. your life. I smiled and grinned when you took that trip to the Sinai battlefront. I put on a good face when you almost died in that transport from Palace. I even oh, and this and that is what I love about you. <laughs> he said, "Let me finish." Sorry. Just know I want to be there with you, and help you with that sad little garden. But our home is threatened, and if I left, you wouldn't respect me anyway. Sounds like you would. Why did I marry such a great woman? You got very lucky, didn't you? What? You're not gonna... Yeah, that's it? I, I love you. Stay on the phone until she blows up. Man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Come on, man. I just can't imagine hanging up while there's still time if you think it's the very end. You had better things to do. I mean, she might have other stuff she has to do, I yeah. guess, but, like, they didn't establish that. That's really sad. It's making a hand. It is. Gotta be close now. Smash that. Yeah. Like, why not smash it? Just smash it. Oh, no, <laughs> it's lost stretch. Another 50 meters. Don't you go taking forms I can recognize. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry about this, guys. Oh, so the cocktails they have to take to withstand the G's yeah. are gonna also be damaging them because they're too. Naomi's heat map. You know where it's leading us? <laughs> it's leading us right back to the Blue Falcon. Where we found Julie? I mean, where are the chances, right? There's the door. Julie Mouse dead. We both saw her. Yeah, but what does that mean to a proto molecule, right? I'm not talking about her body. I mean, her. Her consciousness. I'm talking about a part of her that might be a part of this rock. Jesus! You know, the Razorback, her old ship headed right for Earth. I keep hearing her talk about the Razorback. I think she thinks she's on it. I think she's controlling this whole thing. She's the seed crystal. So the way to save Earth is to convince Julie not to go there? Boss, I'm losing visual. Your crew is gonna die for nothing. Just back off now. Find a way to divert those missiles. And then what? What? I'll try to reach Julie. If there's any part of her still left. Miller, you can't yeah. put everything on this plan. This is... And if that doesn't work... <laughs> yeah, you're really spitballing, man. I still got my little pal here. You're gonna negotiate with a girl who thinks she's a space station? When you put it like that, it does sound kind of crazy. It's kind of a space station who thinks it's a girl. Yeah. 
Alex, power down. Yes, sir. Now what's the Earth gonna think because they gave their missiles to Fred Johnson and now you guys aren't doing what he said you would do? Well, the Earth can't exactly ask them to kill themselves over the deal. Right now, it's imperative you divert Earth's missiles away from Eros. I'll await confirmation. Uh, you know what that's gonna look like? What? Tell me you know what you're doing. You little shit. We've got guidance control. I'll take them on a long ride. The UN is gonna be really pissed mm -hmm. off. How can you even give these missiles back? Just send them back. No, that would be bad. Yeah, don't send yeah. them to Earth. Send them. Send them at Pluto. Nobody cares about Pluto. Whoa. The Omega 13 device. <laughs> wow. We made it. So you're gonna send them 13 minutes into the past? 13 yeah. seconds. 13 seconds. Time to revert a single yeah, mistake. Single mistake. I appreciate you uh, inviting me and your family there, Holden. At least you thought it was worth that. Yeah, that worked out. Uh, pleasantries. Isn't there an existential crisis happening? It's that damn bird! Always with the bird. I don't understand why that's even an element here. Because he always sees it when he changes his mind about things. <sighs> so if this thing is Julie, Julie doesn't know him. No. At all. Has no idea who he is. Was dead before they ever had a chance to meet each other. Yeah. He's just got his weird obsession with her. Theoretically, she wouldn't be able to get inside his brain or anything because the suit is protecting him, right? There's none of the proto molecule on him, right? So yeah. Hey, you know, we never really officially met. I'm Miller. I used to be a cop on series. I was supposed to find you. He was right. Bring you home. What do you mean? Just about everything. I think it's her. I think she's the. Co yeah, this he is just all her. Magically she's, knew yeah. it all. Yeah. I can make it stop. It won't stop. Okay, Julie, but you gotta try. Can't stop the work. All right, we don't. What about the detonator thing? Yeah. Uh, Why don't we go to Venus? Mm. Headed that way anyway. Go to Venus. Work continues. I don't think I can. Well, Miller's too deep in now to be able to get out, so... Yeah, shoot her in the head before you blow this up, maybe that'll yeah, work. Yeah, yeah. I gave an offer all way to find you. Because I believe in you. You can meet a guy like me. You can something... I know. I don't know, I don't know you. I know. <laughs> you can steer the ship. Dallas all the time. Yeah, but if you go, you're yeah, this, you're an yeah. asteroid. Don't go home. <laughs> hey, I need you to know. Whatever happens, wherever you go, you're not gonna do it alone. Hmm. That's cute. So hold this for a minute. No, don't let go. What is it? She broke the whole thing. It won't hurt you. D what are you Miller. doing? What are you, Miller? Proto molecule oh Miller. Oh my God! Why? After all that. Would you really ever be willing I, to like just take off your no. suit and expose yourself to this when no. you're looking at Julia? Yeah, the state look at she's this. In? She looks like she's suffering, dude. You want to be like that? She says that she's suffering. I don't like it. She said. just concluded the fact that you're dead now. Unless he's gonna, you know, meld with the 
with the bio mutant yeah, thing. Sure, uh, what's it? Not bio mutant. That's but, that lame video yeah. game. The proto molecule. Like you, but oh, he's, he's kissing her. Yeah, All right. Kissing the kissing this zombie version of her. That you know, this is still yeah, a girl she, you don't know. Yeah, I mean, she was dead. They were describing like the stench of death in her room and stuff like mm -hmm. that. Yeah, well, she had like, crystals she coming was, out of her yeah, face. Yeah, Barry, you saw her. Like this was like a few weeks ago, or a few months ago, maybe. She was dead. That's not her. Now, Avicerella oh, laying here just waiting to watch Eros come in and destroy them. It's getting it's belter fun, tattoos. Yeah, it's a fun tattoo gun. On course to Venus, so Miller convinced her to send it to Venus. So okay. Miller kind of melded himself with her. Oh, and then he sent it to Venus. Yeah. yeah. Maybe that's what it is. There's still a nuke on board, too. Well... And do you think she busted it? Venus already has pretty severe greenhouse effects, so... Oh, yeah, no, I'm not What's one more nuke? I'm just wondering why it hasn't gone off yet. That wasn't the nuke, that was just the impact. And it's over! Yeah, I don't think that was a nuke explosion, I think. Yeah, it was no, just, the, just impact the, explosion. the impact of it. So Miller's definitely gone now. Yeah. He's as dead as a doornail, or as dead as... I mean... He's a pretty important character. I wouldn't necessarily be surprised if he shows up in some sort of protomolecule form later on. Yeah, we just talked to Julie Mouse, yeah. so... That's, uh, that was, that was wacky, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, that was the most <laughs> far out episode we've had thus far by a good bit, you know? Yeah. I feel like Miller did a lot of explaining of things that he had no way of understanding because if he was just happening upon them the way, like the way that, that with the audience, we would mm -hmm. just be like, what is going on here? Yeah, yeah, they needed some way, it's very clear that this was the ending of a book, mm -hmm. and they needed some way to convey to the audience like all these sort of things that Miller, the character, would put together in his head as he was encountering Julie back there. But like, yeah. they needed us to be ready for that by the time we hit that scene, so he yeah. had to explain it to Holden instead. It's a little clunky, It's but I mean, it mostly works, though. Yeah, yeah. Because you gotta get the, con the sci-fi concepts that you're playing with to the audience mm -hmm. somehow. You know? Definitely so. tied up the Julie Mao. Thing. It sort of g gave a sense of satisfaction to him having, you know, looked for her mm -hmm. for so long. Yeah. Found her dead, dead, dead. She was dead, you know. I, I feel like my initial feeling upon talking to whatever that was, that was not her. She was no, dead. It was, I mean, the amalgamation of yeah. everything. I yeah, think, you know, exactly. With the alien, kind of. Uh, just, I might have more pause and just be like, you it's not the same. You're not the same. You know, if you see like a robotic recreation of somebody that you know, you know that's not them. You know? Right, but he was trying to convince them, you know, his whole thing was persuade the asteroid not to go to Earth. So you had to, it was looking like Julie Mao, so he was relying on the yeah. fact that he could talk to some part of Julie Mao that was there as a representation. Yeah. And it clearly worked. Yeah, I guess so. This definitely felt like a season finale, and it's weird that it was just yeah. episode five of a... I think this is a 13-episode season. I think they said seasons two yeah, and wow. three are the ones that are 13 episodes, so... It's weird to have as just episode five randomly. I can see why people call it the true end of mm -hmm. season one. It really does feel like the wrap-up on that story. I can also see why people suggested that we watch them back-to-back, because -back, it was kind of like a whole... Like, plan that they set out to mm -hmm. do, and it, you know, the full go-through yeah. of that plan. I with think all it, of its the, mis they, they were saying firings. it aired as a two-hour special. As oh, well, okay, too, so yeah, that makes sense. That's reason to watch it together. Is that that's how the original audience received it? But yeah, the the, yes. uh, the UN's going to be really upset with the OPA, I think, because they're going to think they stole their missiles. I feel like there might be some explaining that you could do about the situation. I mean, mm -hmm. they could see that it was accelerated. They knew that it was, you know, Earth before they lost contact with uh, with Eros, they knew that it was changing direction at least, you know, and changing trajectory yeah. and velocity. And they also knew that the Rossi was trying to keep up with it, but it was also risking the lives of its entire crew. Yeah, you know, they might be so. able to explain it yeah, in a way that makes sense. Like we couldn't do anything else, so, and we knew what was 
that, you know, it's like, look, we're going to explain to you what was happening because you can't explain how that rock was changing direction yeah. and stuff like that and was managed to go radio, like, silent and yeah. stealth and everything. So and you could contact you can explain him. it. Yeah. And they, they could also be like, look, okay. We can't give back control of those missiles just yet, because logistically it's not possible. Mm -hmm. You tell us what we should do with those missiles mm -hmm. to prove to you that we're not doing any, you know, yeah, that there's right, no right, underhandedness right. here. Yeah, I guess that they, they might we'll be able to talk that out. Have them making giant circles in the middle of space until he tells us <laughs> what to do. <laughs> exactly, yeah, something like that. Oh boy, but the, that was, that was very, there was a lot of, you know, folks, the way that the protomolecule <laughs> was initially presented to us seemed very um it was like being weaponized as something sinister mm -hmm. and the way it was presented as something you could reason with yeah is personally maybe a little bit unsatisfying to me yeah i can see how i mean obviously there was a lot of cool stuff that happened in that episode but i was i was definitely uh Miller was taking a lot of shots in the dark, and they all just happened to line up perfectly like that. Yeah, it's true. Without that. having a lot of, you know, more information, you know, mm -hmm. like... Yeah. We didn't get anything out of Dresden. It's almost like, if maybe if they had kept him alive, then he could have kind of told them more about what they were dealing yeah. with, and then Miller could have maybe extrapolated from this, but... Did they get any of this idea from Weirdbeard? Because, like, Fred went and talked to him. What did he learn? I can't remember because he like, came back to them with one idea. It? Yeah, but it's like I, I don't. And Fred Johnson obviously had absolutely no idea how to talk to this guy. It seemed like he had really yeah. like they need Amos to talk to that guy. Yeah, clearly. exactly. Amos knows what to do. And did Miller ever talk to him? I don't think he did. No, because they didn't want to let Miller near that guy because Miller killed Dresden. And That's so they right. Didn't yeah, trust no him way. To be near that guy. That's right. So um, yeah, I mean, there's just yeah, that was let's say the last thing. I would have expected. Yeah, not quite as hard sci-fi as the rest of it has been. I was even fine with the idea for the story reasons of this thing hitting Earth and having that be a cataclysmic problem that they mm -hmm. need to deal with, like in book, even as a like the end of book one, having that yeah. be like then this thing hit Earth. See you in book two. That's an enormous like apocalypse, though. That's yeah, crazy. That would have killed off a bunch of like a bunch of characters mm -hmm. right away yeah. and stuff like that too. So I, you know. Not that in a book that really matters, but in, for a TV show. Mm -hmm. I'm kind of surprised yeah. that we didn't see anything with the Martian Marines in these last two episodes at all. Like, they introduced yeah. them and they were building them up for the first episodes of this season. And I had, you know, gathered from that that it's because they were needed for the end game of this story. But then they're just not around for this. So, I mean, maybe yeah. the next couple episodes they'll factor into the aftermath in a major way. And so they needed to already be set up for that to work, but... Is there any more proto molecule left besides the sample that they dropped off? I don't think so, but who can say for sure? Yeah, I guess. Remember they had the they had a canister mm -hmm. with it. You know, Amos was busting open that thing. Yeah, they opened it, and then they they realized that it was something dangerous. I don't remember specifically. Sorry, everybody, it was weeks ago. Yeah, but they they carefully put it somewhere like where in a they crevice knew on an was. asteroid. Yeah, yeah. and. So, go back and blow that up, yeah. I guess, or I don't know, maybe just pretend you never saw it and hope no one discovers it for hundreds of years and then you won't be around to see the consequences. No, yeah, I mean. yeah, right. Just, just leave that there for somebody to discover later. Yeah. Huh. So, mm, yeah. at the end of the day, Eros was Julie Mao having a dream. What a twist. What a twist. I don't know what to expect next. I feel like we're going to be pretty clean slate yeah. going forward here. Yeah. Into the I, second book, with no more Miller. No more Miller. You know, I, we complain about Miller, form. but it is going to be different to not have him around. Yeah, totally. I. That's the thing. It's like he spent so much of, so much of the series so far, kind of being a dickhead. Mm -hmm. In our in our opinion, I think there was a lot of people who kind of felt differently about yeah, Miller. And, Miller you know, defenders. And, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Miller, Miller defenders, and then. He just kind of started to, to turn the leaf. Actually, maybe for a few episodes. Yeah, but many he, he episodes now. He's, by the he's end been there. redeemed, but I was ready to keep him on the squad. It's mm -hmm. just unfortunate that it had to go like that. Rest Seems in like, peace. Yeah. Mr. Miller. Mr. Miller. Bye, Miller. You made it sound like he's our second grade teacher. Rest in peace, Mr. <laughs> Miller. 
That's weird. You're proto model fuel <laughs> now, Mr. Miller. So, um, what do you think is gonna happen from here? Well, I think that's what I was just saying. I don't really know. It's like clean slate from here. Guess. Now that Miller's gone, we're probably gonna need some new characters or a new storyline to sort of rise up and fill that gap. So my prediction is they're going to introduce stuff that we haven't seen at all yet. Mm -hmm. A new character, a new plot line that is going to be infused into the story, especially because we're now starting what would be a new novel. So there will yeah. definitely have been, you know, fresh storylines that they begin in that novel that will now be introduced here. So I'm expecting some brand new stuff next episode. I and, hope I'm right about that. You know, you mentioned the Martian Marines, mm -hmm. like, it makes sense that they would plant that at the beginning of the season, finish off the story of the, what was happening before, and then pick up with them in some capacity. Yeah. Surely Mars has been watching all of this happen and mm -hmm. just be like, they almost just got hit by an asteroid yeah. that was like not headed their direction a little bit ago. Right. And you know, like, yeah, I don't know either, but I, again, the proto molecule for me was one of the juiciest plot points, one of the most fun pieces. And yeah. I feel like we just, we, now we know the secret. It had its big threatening moment, it was overcome, and then it got thrown into Venus. Well, so, like, where does it go from here? Maybe there'll be other plots for a while, and then randomly one episode that'll just go, Ah, Venus is moving towards the Earth! <laughs> what if it takes over Venus? Something? Yeah. yeah. Venus That's... and Earth are like the same size. That would be a big, big problem. <laughs> yeah, jeez. We'll have to wait and see. Yeah. I'm excited to watch what's next. Thanks for joining us, Screaming Firehawks. Yeah, you guys are awesome. I love watching all these comments down here and how enthusiastic everyone is and how immediately everyone jumps on and watch our, watches our videos. It, it makes it really exciting to make them, knowing you guys are, are waiting to watch with us. Yeah, so. it warms our hearts. Yeah, exactly. Love to see it. Well, it's cool to watch a show with such a giant crowd mm -hmm. of people, you know, even though it's just you and me sitting here. Like, I yeah. feel as though we have a big, expanse group that yeah. we watch with, you know. Shout out to all our regulars out there. So, thanks for coming. Uh, until next time, I'm Sean. I'm Nate. This is Ketchup Packets. <laughs>